Hey everyone, in today's video, we have Dr. Nathan Lang Rad, who's gonna show you how easy it is to take your students on virtual field trips. We have a super exciting show for you today because we have a very special guest. He's the author of Everyday Instructional Coaching, and he co-authored a book with Dr. Robert Marzano called The New Art and Science of Teaching Mathematics. He's the host of the Deeper Learning with We Video podcast, and he's the Chief Education Officer at We Video. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Nathan Langrad to the show. Hey, Dan. Great to be here. Thanks for having me on the show. Thank you for coming. Um, so, Dr. Nathan Langrad, uh, you know, I've seen a lot of the work that you were doing, and as I was going through your Twitter, I was really inspired by one of the posts that you had the other day. So, uh, you know, I appreciate you coming on the show to talk to everybody about that because your idea of doing virtual field trips in this world that we've all been thrown into of distance learning and virtual learning, I think is just really inspiring because there's so many different opportunities for teachers to use this in your classroom. So do you think you can talk a little bit about how you came up with that idea? Yeah, absolutely. You know, we are in a very new time, a very um, uncharted territory now where we want to ensure that we are engaging students um, at a high level and uh, probably in a way that's more of an informal way of learning because our students are in many different situations and uh, scenarios at home. And so we just want to ensure that every student has an opportunity to engage with learning in a meaningful and fun way. And because of this crisis, many people, obviously a lot of spring, break, spring breaks were canceled. Um, a lot of, of trips were canceled because we were all quarantined, right? <laughs> we're all inside. And so, you know, I was in a meeting with one of our partners, uh, We Video and Google work very closely together. And uh, in talking with Google Earth, we were talking about how it's a, a wonderful opportunity for students to travel anywhere that they want to, regardless if they're in quarantine or not. Um, not everyone can just, you know, hop in a car or plane and, you know, fly to Norway, like one of my favorite places, uh, or uh, Paris. Uh, or, or anywhere really, or Antarctica. And so one of the ways that uh, I felt that we could really, really utilize remote learning is through these virtual field trips. And so with a virtual field trip, you would essentially go into Google Earth and you would type in any place in the world that you'd like to go. And then at the same time, you would have another tab open with Wii Video and press the record button. And with Wii Video, you're able to record your screen. And so you can essentially create your own virtual field trip. And you can do this to send to your teacher if you're a student or to fellow students. And essentially capture you know, anywhere from like a street view of a cafe to doing a flyover uh, over a monument. Uh, Google Earth has these really unique uh, knowledge cards. So many monuments or places of interest have these cards you can click on. And it reminds me of like Wikipedia, but it would have a description of the monument and the history of it. And so really it's it's a wonderful learning experience, but also just a fun place to, you know, just explore and, and check out. So you can really tap into your inner explorer doing this virtual field trip. Well, I think that's one of the things that I really like about this idea is that teachers in any grade level, any subject area can use this. And I know a lot of teachers have had to cancel field trips because of this, uh, you know, the virus outbreak. But, you know, I started to think as we were talking earlier, you know, how I would use this if I was a classroom teacher. So if I was, say, like, you know, an ELA teacher or a library media specialist, you could find like the setting of a book. And, you know, take your students there or, um, you know, if you're a science teacher to national parks or world language, you can go any place in the whole world uh, or math. You could do like a distance kind of lesson. So th I feel like there's just so many different possibilities for that. Absolutely. And, you know, with in Google Earth, there's also a measure tool. And so with, with mathematics, you can, you know, if you need to determine how many you know, if you need to go within, especially if you're in quarantine, maybe there's like a two block radius that you can only travel in. So with the measure tool, you're able to measure in, you know, metric units or, or whatever units that um, you're working with, you're able to make that conversion there right in the Google Earth tool. So you're right. One of the wonderful things with 
with WeVideo and then obviously with smashing it with Google Earth is that you can use it in any subject because any opportunity for a student to explore and be creative, learn about other cultures, uh, the geography, the topography, I mean, really any subject matter would really connect to this virtual field trip. So uh, you're right. I love it because of its uh, versatility. And I love that it's really keeping the kids connected to the world, you know, and I know a lot of kids that I've talked to and a lot of teachers I've talked to, their kids in this moment in time feel so isolated from their friends, from society. And so I feel like that's a really great way to keep them just engaged with each other and the community and world, really. It really does. It really helps to expand your own worldview. I know, you know, uh, I live out here in the middle of Maine, and so there are lots of trees and lots of wildlife. And of course, I've been to many cities, but after a while, I forget that, you know, a lot of people live in cities where, you know, the grocery store is, is just like a floor below them, or uh, they can just walk to a park. And, you know, I live in an area where I step out my front door and it's just a complete wilderness. So it's, a, and I, it's an opportunity for students to really take on a new perspective and see what life is like living in another city or another continent. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and I know right now we video is offering uh, some assistance to schools that have been affected by the uh, virus outbreak. Can you just talk about that a little bit? Absolutely. So with with we video, you know, our mission is to ensure that students can be their most creative selves, that they can express themselves in creative ways. And so we want to ensure that during remote learning that we have complete full access to teachers and students. And so uh, any school right now can sign up. They can just go to wevideo.com. We have a remote learning landing page that has resources for teachers and students and parents. And so uh, anybody who hasn't been able to get onto the platform and sign up, I encourage you to do so. Just go to wevideo.com and you'll see the, the COVID response banner and they can click on the link and, and sign up. Yeah, I, I, honestly, one of the things that I've just been so impressed by are all the all the tech companies who are so willing to help teachers, help students. Like everybody really is all in this thing together, helping each other out. Uh, and, you know, like in many ways, I've seen the teachers work um, and their lessons becoming even more inspiring and engaging because they have access to so many different tools. So I think that's amazing that you guys are doing that. Uh, Dr. Langrad, if people want to get in touch with you, what's the best way that they can reach out to you? Yeah, I am on social media. I'm on Twitter. My handle is drlangrad, spelled D-R-L-A-N-G-R-A-A-D. And of course, I mentioned the, the We Video website. Uh, you can also find we video on Twitter, just at we video. And I'd love to connect with you and hear more about how you're supporting students and how uh, we can better support students. Yeah, well, thank you so much for coming out to the show. I really appreciate this. Uh, you know, this is an awesome lesson, and I'm sure there's so many teachers and students who are going to benefit from this. So thank you so much. Thank you, Dan. It's great to be here. So I know after hearing Dr. Langrad talk about these virtual field trips, many people will be inspired to go out and create their own. Google Earth just has so many amazing tools and functionalities to create really immersive experiences for your students. Uh, so I'll actually create a more detailed tutorial on Google Earth. So be on the lookout for that in the near future. Or you can click on the subscribe button down below. There's actually a little bell next to the subscribe button. If you click that, you'll receive notifications when new videos come out so that you make sure you don't miss it. So again, thank you very much to Dr. Langrad for coming on and talking about creating virtual field trips. If you at home have any questions or need some help creating virtual field trips for your students, please feel free to reach out to me. You can leave a comment in the comment section below or reach out to me on Twitter at Dan Spada. And if you know a teacher that could benefit from watching this video, please feel free to share this as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.